In Elden Ring, you can get a set of fungal armor that greatly protects against the ravages of Scarlet Rot. Required and recommended items are shown on screen, and this guide will cover all individual steps required to reach this armor set, starting from the early open world. That being said, feel free to use the timestamps in this video's description to skip ahead wherever needed. I'll also warn that there will be some minor spoilers in this video in terms of accessing hidden locations, so keep that in mind. Okay, the first step is to gain access to the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. To do this, you'll need to retrieve the Academy Glintstone Key that is guarded by a Glintstone Dragon at the location shown on screen. You don't actually have to defeat the dragon, you can just grab the key right behind where the dragon rests before running away. Start at the Academy Gate Town and make your way up this path to the South Rhea Lucaria Gate using the key to access the Academy. You will need to make your way to the Schoolhouse Classroom Site of Grace. I'll briefly cover all the main steps in reaching this site. After taking the lift up, beeline it for the church ahead. As soon as you enter the church, go through the door on your left and turn left again to find a much needed site of grace. Continue forward and sprint through the graveyard, recovering your stamina while moving across the bridge, and then continue sprinting on the other side. Dart past the zombie guard and his dog through the narrow passageway. On the other side, you should see a giant rotating lift contraption. Take one of the ascending lifts to the ground above and then quickly enter the nearby classroom where another site of grace can be found. Now that we're at the schoolhouse, we can move on to the hidden path, which will require dying, so you'll want to ensure that you have little to no ruins on your person before starting. Starting at the Site of Grace, head back outside to the giant rotating lifts. Make your way to the opposite side where the lifts can be ridden down. Hitch a ride and wait till the lift drops you off at the bottom. There is a long tail cat talisman you'll want to grab real quick. It grants immunity to fall damage, though I'll be honest, it doesn't seem to work for me. Then, counterintuitively, we are going to try and get the abductor here to snatch us up and snack 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 on us and you have to die specifically to that animation slash move. Now again, this will kill you, but not to worry, you'll reappear in what appears to be actual hell. From here, make a mad dash along the same path you see me taking in the video to arrive at a site of grace. Be careful as the enemies here can hit very hard, and there are lots of falls you need to make along the way. Once at the Site of Grace, continue onward to face your abductors. These two abductors are serious business, but can be cheesed with ranged spells or weapons by climbing up this boulder, where you can mostly stay out of range from their attacks. Assuming you defeat them, rest at the Site of Grace before heading outside into another new area. Another Site of Grace can be found below, and from there, head north down the ravine, avoiding the steam plumes along the way. After a short time traveling, you'll see a flame light up on a rocky alcove. Head there to find a fog door that requires a stone sword key to dispel. And finally, here we are in Seathwater Cave, the actual location of the mushroom armor. Now this cave is filled with poison, so prepare your poison removing items or spells before continuing on. 
And I would also recommend spending all of your runes before moving on, as the only way I was able to get out of this location once I entered was by dying. Also, feel free to go at your own pace, but for this video you'll see me taking the quickest path to reach the armor set. Once you reach this location, you'll probably want to clear out the rats and remove any lingering poison status. Ascend the rock stairs and clear out the three enemies in this elevated area, which I've already done, and then turn right. You should see a giant poison flower and some worshipping minions nearby. First, use ranged spells to destroy the minions, then repeat the process with the giant flower. Once defeated, the giant flower will leave behind the fungal set of armor. I'll quickly go through the different pieces so that you can see the stats, pause the video if necessary, and I'll also briefly show the description of the headpiece, and the description is very similar for the other parts of this set. Finally, here is a side-by-side -side comparison of protection against Scarlet Rot buildup between the Royal Remains armor set and the Mushroom armor set, and as you can see, it makes a considerable difference. If you want to see more great Elden Ring guide videos, you can head over to my channel, and if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat. Her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day. If you're here today, have a great Monday. And as always, thanks for watching.